Welcome back guys. In the last video and throughout this series, we've been working on this database. Essentially, we have three tables that allow us to have a very miniature project management database. Now, what's wrong with this database? Well, overall, I think it's pretty beautiful, but there are some things we could improve, specifically indexes. As we've spoken about before in the past, the only columns that are indexed by default are the primary key and any columns with the unique constraint. So each table here has a primary key, the user ID, the project ID, and the combination of the user ID and project ID down here. As for unique constraints, only the username and I think that's, oh, nope, nope, the project name too. So those are all going to get indexed. But I also mentioned before that a column you should consider indexing is any foreign key constraints. That's because they are not indexed by default, but they're so commonly selected and used in joins that you should almost always index them. So the creator column is a foreign key that references the username up here. But the problem is it's not indexed. So this might become a bottleneck when we're doing select statements. So in this video, we're going to take that column and add an index to it. Now this is actually separate from creating the table. So we don't actually have to have all this stuff here still. So to create an index, yeah, it's pretty crazy, but we use the create index command. I never would have thought of that. And then you give it a name. We'll name it the table underscore column underscore IX for index. So we're doing this on the projects table and we're going to grab the creator column and we'll just use IX for index there. So we create this index, but we have to tell it what column and what table we want it to be a part of. Because this is not part of the create table statement, it's not just gonna know by default which table we want to put it on. So we need to say on and then specify a little bit more information. So the first thing we wanna give it is the table. So we're gonna say projects. And then the next thing inside of parentheses is the column. And this is going to be on the creator column. So let's run this, see if it works, make sure I got all my syntax right. And you can see we created the index, beautiful. Now this doesn't apply in our situation because our column is not labeled unique, but if it is labeled unique, you can actually create a unique index and you just add the keyword unique right after the create keyword. But once again, that's not needed. So I'm just gonna obliterate that. And now I'm going to move on to teaching you how to actually delete these indexes once they're made. So if you wanna delete an index, it's super easy. Kind of like dropping a table, you just say drop index instead. And then you just say the name of the index. There you go. So let's run this and you can see it'll officially delete our index. I thought giving you that little extra information might be useful on dropping the index in case you need it. But for now, I'm actually gonna recreate that index so we have it. That's how you add an index to a column. Unfortunately, I still think there's a potential problem with our database design. To show you that, I'm going to go back to the create table statements and I will point it out to you. So I'm just going to undo it all. <laughs> so here we are, back at our create table statements. The problem here is in the projects table. We have a creator column and this creator column references the user's username. Well, in this situation, the username has to never change. And if you're wondering why, that's something we are going to dissect in the next video. So everyone, please be sure to go watch that video Click like on this video and be sure to subscribe. Thanks, and I will see you in the next one.